We've got matching hats on, see? You've got to tell me your name. Oh, Glenn. Glenn, what's the name? Lewis. I've, I've got stuff in a show in there right now. <laughs> Opening tomorrow. I want to return craft and art together again. I don't think there should be that, that division there. These are far out. So the comment was, even though you're 80, that you're um, reinventing yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how. When you're putting something together, say a photograph in a pot, I mean, this isn't a logical uh, thing. But when I'm thinking about an artwork, it's a different kind of process. And uh, I think it's a maybe kind of like a poetic process. When you think about it, what is the inspiration for poetry? Or it is actual life. I mean, it's like something that you notice in your everyday world. You're walking down the street and you notice something and it triggers, uh, well, in the old days they would say it triggers your muse, right? The muse settles over you and you have this inspiration about something. So it arrives through the everyday. Uh, and it always has done, I think. I'm very curious uh, about things. I mean, I'm curious when I'm outside. I take great pleasure when I'm walking along and I notice things on the sidewalk or, you know, like uh, in, in windows and, and other people's hairdos and things, you know. I sometimes forget where I'm going or something. <laughs> it occupies my mind quite a bit, I guess, that way. I think the value of art, in many ways, is about the perception of things around you and to be able to appreciate your everyday life. Here we go. There is a certain uh, treasure in, in a mundane thing. I mean, if you regard it long enough and think about it, you, know, you can make it into something, you know, or you see it as, as something more extraordinary. Beautiful carving in these things. I think the journey in the garden is that it represents our journey through life. I mean, it just interests me to understand the world and to understand people better in that sense. Finding your way through, right? How to get to the end of your life. I'm not that introspective sometimes about the work. I'll have to take a picture of you guys over there, I think, or something. <laughs> I'll produce it and, and often I'll forget about it afterwards too. You know, I'm on to the next thing.